Hey, my loves, welcome back to another video. Well, today I am beyond pissed off. Actually, I was pissed off yesterday, but because I have a delayed reaction, today I'm reaching the end of my rope. Brokers, this is the topic that got me so pissed off today, and this is the topic we're going to be focusing on today. Now, some of the things I say you will agree with, other things will make you want to rip my head off. Now, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I teach about the trucking industry with a heavy focus on the spot market as well as freight market analysis. So if this is a topic that interests you, feel free to subscribe down below. So brokers, why did I choose this topic for today? Well, because I had an ultra nasty exchange with a broker. And to top it off, this is something that's happening constantly now. About two weeks ago, I received a comment from a broker saying that I am out of touch and how carriers and brokers are on the same side apparently. And if it wasn't for carriers price gouging in 2020 and 2021, we probably wouldn't be in this situation today. So we shouldn't cry about it. Now you're welcome to go ahead and find that comment in my video as well as my reply to that comment. It's pretty long, but I decided to turn this into a teaching moment. So ready? Let's go. So the first question is, are brokers actually price gouging? Yes. My answer is a solid, bold, neon flashing yes. They're taking a crap ton of money off the top of each load. And this is simply because of supply and demand. There are too few loads, too many trucks. Many of you cannot understand how is it possible with inflation and with the prices of everything going up, especially natural gas uh, recently, how is it that price of transportation is going down? Well, there are a few things at play here. And one of the main things is that brokers are taking too much off the top of each load. So much so that carriers are feeling like they're grasping at straws. $2 per mile seems like an incredible rate in certain areas. So let's go ahead and go to the board so I can show you the USDA reports that I found on sonar this time that shows you how much shippers pay brokers for produce loads. This is not all loads. These are produce loads. So my friends, this is what brokers are getting from shippers. This is collected from shippers of produce. And this is usually about a week or two late, unfortunately, but this shows us what shippers are paying for spot market one pick one drop loads to the broker, right? So let's take a look. El Paso to Seattle, $9,000. It did decrease. Again, this is delayed a little bit. McAllen to Boston, $8,150. I mean, look at these. Look at them. Now, what I will do is I will attach this down below in a link so you guys can check it out. To my reefer carriers, are you guys seeing these kinds of loads on the spot market? I haven't been in Pendleton, Oregon, or my guys haven't been in Pendleton, Oregon, for example, for a long time, but I sure as hell am not seeing those types of rates. The prices on the load board are actually 50 to 100% lower than what we saw on the board. So to answer the question of our broker's price gouging, yeah, absolutely they are. They're taking a ridiculous amount off the top of each load. And why does that make us all angry as carriers? Well, because we're the ones who have the huge overhead expenses. We have the truck payments, the trailer payments, the maintenance, the insurance, the fuel, and the list goes on and on and on. So when the broker is taking 50% of the total rate or more, and then expects you to come with a recently maintained truck with a trailer that is 10 years old or newer, with a trailer that has been washed out to the point where you can lick the floor, well, buddy, that all costs money. You are paying me pennies and then expecting VIP service from me in every regard. Okay, I told you I was pissed off, so bear with me. I'm trying to cool myself down here. The next question is, and some of you will disagree with me quite strongly, I'm sure, is this the broker's time? In other words, are brokers making bank right now? And the answer is no. We all love to talk about how many carriers entered the market in 2020 and 2021 because of the incredible conditions, but we also forget to talk about how many brokers entered the market during that same time because the conditions were incredible for them as well. So when that dude left a comment on my video saying that 2020 and 2021 was a time where carriers were price gouging and implying that he as a broker was in a bad position, I nearly laughed myself off of this chair. 2021 was an absolutely crazy year. The volume was insane. So this means that while brokers were making less off of each load, which is absolutely true, 
because of the sheer amount of volume of loads, they were making more. 2020 and 2021 was a good time for brokers as well. Remember, a truck makes money off that one load that it is currently carrying. A broker makes money off the possibly hundreds of loads he or she is selling on a daily basis. Again, obviously, in one day, a broker can sell hundreds of loads potentially depends on the size of the broker. Whereas the driver of the truck is making money only off of that one load until he or she delivers it. Now back to 2021, as I said before, carriers were not the only ones who flooded the market in 2021. So did brokers. Everyone was trying to make bank because that time was incredibly good. So fast forward to what is happening right now. Well, obviously the market is currently oversaturated with both carriers and brokers. So in order for you to understand this, let's go back to the board. So just to illustrate what is going on right now, here we have a shipper, here there is a load. The shipper has a budget for transportation that the broker may or may not know about. That part I don't know. Do you guys know about the budget? Do you not know about the budget? But basically the shipper now has this load and a bunch of different brokers start bidding on this load because all of them, including the new ones who came in in 2021, want that load to get that customer to potentially build a relationship and get more loads in the future. So obviously the shipper is now going to choose the lowest bidder. So let's say that this guy bids 1,200 on this load while the shipper had a budget of 2,000, let's say. Okay, so he gets this load now and he gets the customer. Now this broker is going to post that load on the load board. This guy has to make money as well. So he's going to post it for instead of 12, hundred dollars that he's getting from the shipper, he's going to post it for eight hundred dollars on the load board right here. Now obviously he posts this load on the load board and because there are not enough loads in the market currently and too many trucks, we have all of these trucks now bidding on that crappy paying $800 load. So these trucks, as they're bidding, they're bidding each other down, 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 because none of these trucks want to stay in one spot. They want to keep moving to make at least something. So all of these guys are bidding until the broker finally sells it to, let's say this guy, and let's say that this carrier ends up getting this load for $850, right? Pretty crappy. So now, the shipper is happy-go-lucky because the shipper just paid the lowest amount of money possible uh, because of the oversaturation of brokers and carriers. So the shipper is in a good position. The broker is at an advantage because he has the load or she has the load and gets to sell it for a completely crap price on the load board knowing that carriers will have a bidding war on that load because there are just not enough loads in the market. So the lining of his pockets is pretty much guaranteed. The only player here who is at a disadvantage is the carrier who happens to also have the highest expenses. So it's a little bit backwards, but that doesn't mean that brokers are making bank right now because there are way too many brokers, not enough loads. So they're making a ton of money off of each load but in reality, they're making less in general because there is no volume. Now with these crazy times and these crazy rates, obviously we now have a problem with scammers where carriers book a load and then pretend to be a well-known broker and then resell that load to another carrier who ends up hauling that load and therefore accruing all the expenses related to that load, but never gets paid for it. The scammer carrier gets paid for it even though he or she had no expenses. Yes, we fell for the scam. I even have a video about it. Basically, this industry is a little bit, not a little bit, it's a mess right now. And the worst part for me is that common decency and professionalism has gone out the window. Brokers swearing on the phone. Brokers being drunk on the phone. I'm not kidding. Brokers saying that I will give you this load for this price. And once I agree, they say, actually, it's going to be lower because I can. I have horror stories. Obviously not all brokers are like this. There are some decent ones, but as I said to that guy in the comment, there are a good amount of brokers that I will never work with again, regardless of the market situation, regardless of what kind of price they offer, credit score or days to pay. Business is business. Making money is the goal, but common decency and especially professionalism is also important. And something that I know for a fact, obviously I cannot tell you exactly when this will happen, but I know this for a fact. 
the market will turn because the current rates are driving carriers out. There are a ton of companies. Today, a company closed down 200 trucks, 140 drivers out. This market is not sustainable. And there will come a point where the broker needs that truck more than that truck needs that load. Someone in the comments has said to me that we should all come together in this community and refuse to haul loads for a couple of days to wake up and shake up the market a little bit. And while that is a wonderful idea that I do support and I love the idea of it, unfortunately, there will always be those carriers, especially the new ones who will take loads for the lowest price because they have bills to pay. So for now, my loves, I recommend patience in every regard. I know that personally, I will be working on my patience because I have been losing my cool more than I care to admit recently. Something you guys don't know is that I quit this industry every single evening and I rehire myself in the morning. Anyway, guys, I am sorry for the venting. I know that this video was more of a venting video than an educational one, but I do hope that you pulled out some educational aspects out of this video. I'll see you guys on Friday with the weekly market update and forecast. See you guys then.